Hello there, nice people. Thank you for stopping by. My name is Nuno. Greetings from Portugal. And this video uh, is a follow up uh, on the video that I made on macOS Mojave Beta 4, a video that you, the community, post some comments, some bugs that they encountered. And that's nice because we can share uh, experiences on what's working and not working on these better releases. So today is the, 50, the 25th of July, uh, it's Tuesday. I was expecting that Apple uh, uh, released Beta 5 of macOS Mojave and also iOS 12 Beta 5, but they didn't. So I will take the opportunity to make this video uh, to share the the comments that you posted, some of the viewers and subscribers posted on what they are they are finding on their operating system. And then when Apple releases the beta 5, we'll see if they are fixed or not. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, start with the first one. This one was posted by Wayne and I noticed this also if FaceTime doesn't work for me uh, either neither was the audio dictation. In fact, if I go ahead to FaceTime, uh, FaceTime doesn't uh, recognize any camera that I have. So I am I have three uh, cameras plugged uh, to my Mac and none of the of them work. Okay, so uh, I'm able to do some calls. Uh, and sometimes and others I, I I cannot okay another issue is if I want to let's imagine uh, I have iCloud and uh, as you know uh, if you uh, receive uh, a call you are able to or to answer on your iPhone iPad or Mac okay I have that eco ecosystem but uh, for some reason uh, when I want to shift uh, from the iPhone to the Mac or vice versa, it doesn't work. Okay, guys, so uh, I encountered that issue. So this is the issue that I found on FaceTime and also uh, the, the, sorry, let me, okay, Wayne posted that also. By the way, there are uh, people that say, says that don't work, but there are others that says that first FaceTime works without any problems, the camera and the audio. Okay, guys. So now we are here with Adam Mendes and uh, is asking if this is a st stable enough uh, for a daily driver. In my opinion, uh, this better for uh, it's not stable enough if you depend on, you know, applications, for example, FaceTime or some other applications that depend on audio and video. For example, I'm not able to record in QuickTime. OK, guys, if I want QuickTime recognizes the camera, but then uh, it, it doesn't record. So there are many issues. I don't know if USB something, OK, that doesn't allow me to record audio or video on devices that are plugged in uh, on my Mac. OK, guys, so if it is stable for normal tasks, web browsing, mail, Twitter, photos, music, Spotify. Yes, it is stable. OK, uh, but if you depend, for example, as I do to make videos in Final Cut, Final Cut takes a long time to render uh, when I compare it to iSierra, okay, and uh, it quits sometimes. Now, uh, if you want to try it, go ahead and make a different partition. You can go, 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 go to, to sorry, you can go here, go to utilities, click on disk management, and then you can make here a partition, okay, and test. Uh, Mac OS Mojave on a different partition. If you want to install it on your main system, please back up. OK, guys, there are people that says, OK, go ahead, do it. My suggestion is if you want to to keep your data safe, photos, documents, videos, OK, please do a backup. OK, like I'm, I'm running this on my uh, primary device, but I made a backup. OK, so if anything goes wrong, 
I, I can still recover all the things that are important to me. Now, another one, it is Nicholas. And uh, Nicholas says that he, uh, the AirPods don't work on a Mac. Now, another thing regarding audio. He says, in fact, it works with the, his iPhone uh, 10, but it isn't possible uh, to connect on the Mac. So another issue with audio, okay? And this is, if you have this, please go ahead and post on the comments below. How is the RAM management? Uh, the RAM management, I have it here, it is good, okay? It is very similar uh, like iSierra, no issues here whatsoever, even when I'm rendering. Um, for example, I'm now screen recording and I'm with 60, I have 16 gigs available uh, in this Mac and I'm using all, only uh, 6, okay, with this screen recording. So for me, RAM management, no issues whatsoever. Now, for example, Patrick says that Safari and FaceTime are working fine for him. So, as you can see, there are different situations. For me, it doesn't work and some other uh, guys that I showed you, uh, but for others, it works without any flaws. So, it, it's, it is a hit miss, okay? Now, Vilmar uh, says it is the FaceTime for him is working also, okay? No issues whatsoever, sound is good and video works properly. And uh, an issue that I was uh, that uh, that Max Key uh, posted, it Siri uh, doesn't work, okay? Because I have issues with my microphone. So if I click on Siri and try to say something, it doesn't recognize. So Max Key, thank you for your comment, okay? I have I had uh, also discovered this. Uh, when I wanted to ask how the weather is, is so in fact for me it doesn't work also it doesn't recognize audio uh, and on my sound preferences for example if I go here my sound uh, it's the in input it's working okay but Siri doesn't listen to anything okay so these are guys the bugs that I encounter um, Go ahead if you want to post more uh, bugs that you that you see on a daily basis. Uh, take put put the comments below, okay? And uh, then we'll see when Apple release Beta Five what the issues uh, if the issues remain or not. Now, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for commenting, guys. It is important to create here a community and to share. Uh, you know, experiences, and uh, I'll hope to see you uh, on the very near, near future. So, thank you, and see you later. Bye bye.